Linus Tech Tips coverage of Computex 2016 is brought to you by the Corsair Lapdog, the gaming center that allows you to use a full-size keyboard and mouse from your couch, and by MSI. So we're here in the Corsair booth, and they're showing off. This is like unbelievable. I didn't even know these guys make memory anymore. I mean, it's like keyboards this, and like cases that, and guys like George coming in going, we should do cases, power supplies, and cooling. Well, no, no, no. This is a Back to the Roots product. This right here is the Dominator Platinum Special Edition DDR4 kit. Well, kits, uh, there are actually two of them. There's like a dark plated one and a light plated one, and the Vengeance LED. So I'm going to start with the Vengeance LED since that's the one that may actually have some relevance to more than a handful of you. They've taken their Vengeance ID, which is kind of that sort of sexy Corsair logo in the middle and then accents on the outsides, and they've added LEDs to them. They're going to be available in two different colors, red and white to start, and they support a couple of different LED lighting modes. So you can see here, they're not RGB, so they don't cycle colors, but they're able to kind of breathe and turn on and off and stuff like that. The software is very, very beta right now, but it's going to be controllable through Corsair Link, and I guess that's pretty much all there is to say about it. There are dual channel kits and quad channel kits available, all the way up to frequencies as high as 4300 megahertz. Now, let's get on to the special edition. Now, I hate it when companies do a special edition that's basically just SE and there's no sort of limited quantity because you know what the SE stands for in those cases? Like, well, you, you know what the S is for an edition, okay? It's usually just like, we need to sell this thing. Um, what, what can we put on the box? <coughs> uh, SE. Terrible. So no, these are going to be limited to 500 units each, only 500 units will be available. They will be individually numbered, and these are a Dominator Platinum LED lit memory kit. So there's going to be a 4x8 for the quad channel enthusiasts and a 2x16 for guys running on the Z170 platform, and they are running at DDR4-3200. Now, no one in the booth can confirm or deny this for me, but I would speculate that if they were doing a hand-picked 500-unit run, that 3200 probably isn't the max that you could expect these to run at, and they are going to look absolutely sick in your system, which, as you guys probably know, is pretty much how I shop for memory these days. Now this, this is cool. This is the MSI slash Corsair Seahawk GTX 1080. Now they did a 980 Ti before, so this isn't an entirely new concept. Corsair working on the cooler, MSI working on the GPU itself, and slapping all that together for a cool, quiet, maximum overclocking gaming experience. But the big difference this time is that even though this product is kind of hiding in a corner in the booth because they don't have a finalized PCB layout. They don't have finalized clock speeds. I mean, I wouldn't even be surprised if the backplate graphic design isn't even finalized. They are claiming that instead of being nine months late this time, they are going to be two weeks after the general availability of GTX 1080 graphics cards and ready to start selling this puppy. So thanks to the single 120 millimeter radiator and 120 millimeter fan, Corsair saying, look, we are removing all the thermal limitations. And while NVIDIA was showing off clock speeds like two gigahertz at their launch event, some folks on water are seeing significantly higher than that. So thanks again to Corsair as well as to MSI. Oh, actually, that's funny. Look at that. This product is made collaboratively by both of our sponsors for the show this year for bringing us to Computex. Corsair's big thing they want me to draw your attention to is the lapdog, that couch, mechanical keyboard, full mouse pad gaming experience, and for MSI, they want me to be chatting you guys up about the Aegis X. So that is their new desktop as well as their new GTX 1080 Gaming X. So that's obviously a GTX 1080, although Personally, I think this one's cooler, but whatever. Don't miss any Linus Tech Tips Computex coverage by making sure you're subscribed, and I will see you guys at the next booth.